what's happening everybody? Welcome back to another video. Pragmatic Addict here. What, were you guys expecting a more expensive intro? <laughs> so in tonight's review, we're gonna be sitting down talking about the new film from Michael Bay, Ambulance. So Ambulance has Jake Gyllenhaal in it, as well as Yaya abdul II. And, oh boy guys. Ugh. Get ready for this plot, okay. Just stop what you're doing. We need all ears because this is a doozy. So Ambulance is about a man played by Yaya abdul II. His wife uh, is going into surgery and her medical bills are mega expensive. Probably about as expensive more or less as this movie. <laughs> so he recruits his adoptive brother played by Jake Gyllenhaal and he's like, Hey, I need a job. I need money. Help me out. And Jake Gyllenhaal's got a life, he's got a history, lots of money, lots of past, lots of crime, and... Well, he's the guy to go to. So Jake Gyllenhaal is all like, well, how about this? Help us rob this fucking bank. And him and Jake Gyllenhaal decide that they are going to rob a bank. And as they rob this bank, uh, this police officer who was thrown into the mix in the most absurd fucking, just lackluster way, Oh my god. As this officer is thrown into this mix, well on the scene they end up shooting the cop and paramedics pull up and as the paramedics pull up to help the officer, um, Jake Gyllenhaal's character and Yaya abdul II take this paramedic who's driving the ambulance hostage along with that officer himself. Yeah, um, it's not the most fleshed out storyline by Michael Bay, but it certainly isn't the fucking worst. Hey, Professor, I'd do anything for an A. Now, right off the bat, I'm gonna say some good things that I really want to make sure that I address is that... So, when this film started, I'm not even gonna say- no, not even, like, when the film started, but... As this film was, like, well- well into its way of, like, getting going, I actually thought this was a good movie. Now, I haven't seen many Michael Bay films, um, but as far as, like, the drama goes in this film, it was, it was pretty solid. Now, so, Jake Gyllenhaal is actually one of my favorite actors, and he was just promoting this thing just left and right. He was just all on board to, you know, promote this film and get people to see this film. And as a big Jake Gyllenhaal fan and how much he was promoting this film, me with probably the vast majority of you out there were like, wow. Jake Gyllenhaal is not only accepting a role from Michael Bay, but he is promoting this thing left and right. What's the big deal here? It's not as, like, expensive looking on the scene, and then you, like, think about it, and it's like, well, it's a two and a half hour car chase movie through the streets of L.A. Yeah, nah, he's gonna put some money in there. He's gonna put some money in there. Not to mention, you know, again, having people like Yaya abdul II and Jake Gyllenhaal, as well as a paramedic. Oh my god, Michael. We get the most, you know, A-plus looking female paramedic. You know, she shows up, she's got, you know, blush on and makeup. Her ears are all done. Her, her hair is... Whoo. He basically gets that Michael Bay female protagonist for his films. Uh, I'm hearing a lot of talk about this, like, in, like, comparison to Megan Fox, which, uh, yeah, that's kind of what I'm trying to state here. And I just, uh, I just did not buy her character, which is something I also want to talk about. I, as far as, like, the performances go, I feel like everybody is kind of giving what they can, but with saying that, they're keeping it, like, leveled that, like, look, this is a Michael Bay film. Like, they're like, Jake Gyllenhaal and Yaya abdul Mantine and this, uh, female, uh, protagonist, she, like, they're all trying, you know, like, they're, they're all doing fine in the movie, but just fine. They're not bad, but, like, as far as performances go, it really is just, wow, they're doing fine for a Michael Bay film. Which isn't, like, you know, degrading at all to these people. They're all, you know, great actors and actresses. You know, they've had great movies and great roles throughout their careers. <laughs> but for a Michael Bay film, I feel like they're giving what they can, but they're also doing, like, a good job at it. But yeah, this film was actually, like, pretty content for a Michael Bay film. And then you realize, like, oh, wow, this is going on, like, a movie too long. This is, like, a movie too many. And, you know, that that's kind of, like, what it comes down to is, like, the drama in this film, and as well as, like, which is a weird thing to state, but, like, the blood and gore and, like, the effects and, like, 
the visuals, and even the camera angles, they're all very Michael Bay-esque, but I feel like it's like the best flavor of that direction as far as Michael Bay goes. Like, you're watching this and you're like, yes, this is a Michael Bay film, but I feel like as far as Michael Bay films go, this is more or less some of his best work. And another thing is there's a lot of out of place humor, <laughs> like it, like about that mark where you're like, wow, this started out as like a pretty fucking decent film and I was surprised. And then you, it starts hitting you like, well, it's been like 90 minutes and we've been watching the same scene for like 45 minutes and there's still like 45 minutes left. It's about at that point where he just, you know, where Michael, you just realize, oh, okay, got it, got it, yes. Michael Bay does not want to end this fucking film. Again, it's a two-hour long Michael Bay, no, a two-hour plus long Michael Bay car chase movie. How much can you actually do with that? You start getting some more, like, plot details regarding, like, mobs and money and, like, gangsters. That's the biggest argument here. He does not know how to end a movie. This movie started out good, and it could have been fine, but he just had to throw as much money as he could into this and make that stretch as long as possible. Which is funny because it's like, I feel like there's a lot to talk about here. I feel like all that I'm actually explaining, I won't be able to get to the root to because there's, there's just, there's no end to it like this movie. So overall guys, I think I'm feeling a solid four and a half to a 4.6, probably more so a 4.6, I'll be a little bit generous. And that's the thing, that's the argument, is like, you know, people were like, well, you know, maybe it was just too long, or maybe it just wasn't your thing. Look, I do not like action films or superhero films. I saw the Batman, it was way longer than this, and it felt way shorter. And I was actually more interested in this one than the Batman. <laughs> But yes, guys, that is going to do it for this review. Um, yeah, I have been, I'm not going to lie, I've kind of been slacking on this one. I've kind of waited till last minute to see this movie. I mean, what can I say, guys? Come on, let's be honest here. We're just trying to ho hold the fort down till April 21st. Am I wrong? But yes, guys, that is going to do it for my ambulance review. Let me know what you guys thought about this movie in the comments below as well as the review. So thank you guys so much for watching and have a great night. I will see you in the next one.